Hey, sixth grade, this is Mr. Foster coming at you. Uh, one of the commissioners of the sixth grade kickball classic, and I am coming at you live here today to reveal the sixth grade kickball classic bracket. In this bin right here, I have all 13 sixth grade teachers' names. We're going to draw the bracket. We're going to reveal the, uh, the, the tournament here, and we're going to have a great time this spring season. Okay. Our kickball classic has been going on now for 18 years, 18 years strong, and we really base the kickball classic on having fun, participating, and also sportsmanship. Okay. We do want the kickball classic to be fun for all students. Whether you enjoy uh, sporting events, whether uh, you enjoy activities such as kickball, we want everybody to participate. We want everybody to just have fun with it. This is kind of a non-competitive situation. We want to be really good sports to each other, cheer each other on, and overall, just simply have fun with the tournament. That's really what this whole thing is all about, okay? We will have two brackets. One is a boy's bracket, and one is a girl's bracket. So each homeroom is going to be split up between a boy's team and a girl's team, and then those two individual teams will then enter their respected bracket. We'll then play the bracket through, and then on we go. And remember, fun, participation, and sportsmanship. So what I'm gonna be going through now is I'm gonna be drawing for our one main bracket, and the boys' bracket and the girls' bracket will start the exact same way. Then once the games get played, it will go from there. Your teachers will be serving as umpires, and the teachers here in sixth grade, we are not professional kickball umpires, therefore we will be making mistakes and that's where sportsmanship and respect will always be coming into play, obviously, okay? Our batting orders, one last thing to mention, all of our batting orders will be done alphabetically, okay? There will be no rearranging of batting orders for any sort of competitive nature. Our batting orders, they run alphabetically by last name, top to bottom, A to Z, and that makes it really easy for all of our classes to get into alphabetical order, which also serves as our batting lineup, our kicking lineup. Okay, so with all of that said, we're going to get to the draw. Um, as mentioned here, we have our one main bracket. This will serve as the starting point for both the boys bracket and the girls bracket. What I want to point out here is that there will be three teams that have bonds. Okay, so uh, all of these are labeled, and I know that's kind of difficult to see from where you're at camera wise there. But um, we have a one through a 13 seed here. We have 13 classes here in sixth grade. So I'm gonna draw one straight through to the 13, okay? Our one, two, and three, they have buys, okay? So the first three classes that we draw, they will have a buy. So let's see what we got first. Our number one seed in the first team with a buy is, Sawyer, and look out, she is the varsity softball coach. She knows the rules, she knows the game. Sawyer is on a mission this season. She is our one seed and she has a bye. Let's draw for our two seed, which is gonna be right there, okay? So our two seed's also gonna have a bye, we're gonna plant them right there. The number two team out of the bucket is Palazzolo. Palazzola comes from a very athletic family, very into competition, although remember this is all about having fun, but of course we've got Palazzolo down here as the second team. Let's draw that third team. Our third team in the sixth grade kickball classic is Mr. Pete's group. I know that they're ready and I know that they're going to be happy to have that first round bye. So we are set with our buys. We're now gonna move in to our other 10 teams and let's see where they fall into the bracket. This is gonna be team number four, which I'm gonna be placing right there. I'm gonna be tossing them in where the numbers are within this bracket. Team four is gonna be there. Uh, and then five goes here. So you're gonna kind of see these teams spaced out a little bit. Anyhow, let's go to team number four. Team number four. Cicero. She is so hardcore about kickball that she brought her virtual team in a few years ago to play. That's right, brought her virtual team in. They did well. 
even, even kept it together during COVID. Our fifth team, Gearba, she's going to be ready to roll in her group. Uh, the Gearba group is always ready, always ready to have fun on the kickball field, and they also do very well. Let's go to our sixth team. We're going to be down here now, okay? So we're coming down to here. Our sixth team in the kickball classic. Foster, Mr. Foster's group. We are excited for sure. All right, uh, so that's six. Now we're gonna pop to seven right there. I know the numbers are a little goofy here, but here we go, number seven. All right, Streeter. She is in the kickball classic. I know that her students are going crazy right now as they hear this. There's the streeter group. Finally, number eight. We're going all the way up there, and then this is going to be fun. We're going to see which each of these teams are going to end up, who they're going to end up playing. Here we go. The eighth team drawn. Mr. Brunty. So if Mr. Brunty were to win from this eighth spot right here, he would take on Sawyer. But who would Brunty, who, do, who does, does his homeroom play first? So the Brunty team is going to be taking on Rothenberg. Mrs. Rothenberg, always ready. She made her kickball debut, I believe, last season. Left no stone unturned. She'll be ready again. All right, now, so we've got Brunty Rothenberg in the first round. The winner of that will take on Sawyer. Now on to Cicero. Who will Team Cicero play? It's not going to be Palazzolo. We've got Palazzolo over here with the bye. She is going to take on the gear group. They are geared up for 2023 kickball. We've got gear versus Cicero. Gear ball, Hanlon is still in here, okay? Hanlon is still in here. Will we see a Gearbaugh Hanlon face off? And it's Talis. Gearbaugh versus Talis. This will be Miss Talis's first kickball experience. This will be her first team that she has entered into the tournament. Going to be great. Uh, we have two teams left. Here we go. Streeter will take on. Schwarzenberger, the longest last name in the tournament. Schwarzenberger. Schwarzenberger takes on Streeter. The winner of that matchup will take on Palazzolo with the bye. Now we have one team left. It is Hanlon, Foster Hanlon at the bottom of the bracket with the winner taking on Pete. So there we go. This will also be Mrs. Hanlon's first kickball uh, classic uh, entrance into the tournament. So I know that their team is excited. So we have Sawyer, Palazzolo, Pete with the buys. We've got some great first round matchups. Remember, participation, fun, and sportsmanship. We're looking forward to an awesome 2023 kickball classic. Good luck, and we'll have the rules and everything else coming your way soon. Have fun this spring, and good luck to all teams.